We take 13, which means that, you know, like, we could die to atrocity, but I got the Doom Beast. So we good there. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Viego Swain, our last Swain deck today. Let's try out Swain with Viego. This is going to be the uh, only one that I haven't played before. Um, I haven't tried Viego and Swain together yet, but I think they should work very well together. They're both five mana champions. They're both really cool. They're both really powerful. They both have white hair, so I, I don't see how they couldn't work really well together. So that's what we're going to try. Combining uh, Swain with Shadow Isles means you get some nice one damage things. You got like Vile Feast, Unspeakable Horror that can do one damage. Uh, they can both help enable Ravenous Flock or Scorched Earth. Uh, but as far as leveling up Swain goes, it's going to be kind of tough. We'll have a couple of Withering Whales and a copy of the Box. Those are going to be like some, some main ways to help our Swains level up. And then, yeah, we'll be kind of relying on like these Ravenous Flocks and these cards. But then our top end is going to be amazing, because we're going to have Hydrovine to go along with Viego. We'll have Leviathan to go along with Swain. That's just going to be an amazing top end with all of those. So we're hoping that that top end can take over with, like, these little bits of damage and, like, you know, Withering Whales and stuff like that. They can shut down the early game. We'll have, you know, Sentry Flock combo. Uh, we'll draw some extra cards with Glimpse Beyond and Spirit Leech. We'll have both uh, the Spiders. Uh, from House Spider and the Vile Fee Spider. Those will all be good targets for both of those, and then plus, plus our Encroaching Miss. And whenever we have Viego in play, we want extra ways to be able to slay our own units for Viego, you know, doing this whole thing. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that's all the deck put together. I uh, thought about doing Go Hard, decided to go Unspeakable Horror. I kind of felt like we didn't have enough draw for Go Hard. And then with Unspeakable Horror, I think it's a really underrated card. I think the Nightfall card that you create is usually really really good sometimes you have to play unspeakable horror like on round two and you're not gonna be able to you know have it with nightfall that'll happen sometimes but being able to create that nightfall card and have it replace itself is usually really good and then this also is a drain one from anything so that does mean the nexus so that is important for swain when you have your level up swain you can use unspeakable horror to stun as well all right so let's go ahead and get to it let's play some viego swain here we go, our Viego decks have been doing, or sorry, our Swain decks have been doing great today. We're staying here at the shipyard. Okay, so we'll be playing against Viego. Lots of people playing Shurima Viego today. This is like the third or fourth time that we've played against it now. I'm gonna send these two back. We'll keep Unspeakable Horror Viego. Oh, this hand does not look so good. That was not an upgrade on our hand. <laughs> Not quite. All right, cool, House Spider. So I want to play House Spider round three, ideally, not round two, round three. Because round three, we can play House Spider, then play Unspeakable Horror. Yeah. So we don't really have to play right there. But it also looks like we may not even have to play Unspeakable Horror. Gonna make a meal of them. Okay. Welcome back, Hayden. So keeping that thing from being able to challenge. Huh? Suppose that's a thing. So I think I just get Viego in play. Yeah, I think we just get Viego and play. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. Hmm. Guess they had the same thought. Ugh. 
That's not good. Their Viego's a lot better than mine. That's a good. Not good. Alright, so they're already at five for the level up. Hmm. Okay, okay. Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? Well, then, it's gonna be a lot of fearsome damage that I can't do anything about. Assuming they have like the three three challenge, my four one. Then that's and then that's also going to slay, so that's going to be um, fourteen. But then this will also die, so another one. So fifteen. This is going to be fifteen fearsome damage. It's just not good. damage. So this saves four. So we take eleven. Surrender to me. Viego's basically leveled up now though. And I don't have removal for it anymore. Fearsome's a heck of a keyword, isn't it? Everything having fearsome. Viego. All right, looks like we got out Viegoed. The shadow isles are just the beginning. We got out Viegoed. Okay, so we got deep. Got some sea monsters. So we'll keep Arachnoid Sentry and send the rest back. Alright, so this time we got a Cam Camivore and Soldier before Viego to be able to help grow it a little bit. And that's important so it doesn't die to Jaw Hunters, but, you know, obviously we have the Unspeakable Horrors for Jaw Hunters as well. Alright, so we don't want to trade Camivore and Soldier for that. Uh, right now, before VA was in play, right? Like, it's good to trade stuff after VA was in play. Alright, looks like that's what we're gonna do. Gonna save the stun spider for something super scary. Submission or death for all who leave. Our beat your eyes, take care, have a good one. So I attack with both three threes, they block with both wanderers. Yeah, that's acceptable. Alright, cool. I still have another thing that can die to give me another encroaching mist. Wow, then Hydrovine. <laughs> Not really doing Swain stuff. 
this game. Just doing uh, Diego stuff. So the Cygnus can give, like, Swain elusive for that Nexus Strike, or, of course, giving this Diego elusive. Like, either of those are really good options. Um, probably not doing either one right now. Probably just simply attack. No, no real reason. Okay, okay so I go Hydra Vine. Yeah, we'll just play Hydra Vine first. Kind of need vengeance for Viego, but then again, they need to kill Hydravine as well. Oh yeah, all their sea monsters do cost a lot less, so they, they could still play another Jettison or a Sal. Okay, not Salvage. The Devour Depths cost four mana still. Okay. So that's going to be 10 power to die. Plus we'll make a 5-5, five five, so 15 power. Viego's just, Viego's just as big as Nautilus. I can cast Despair on a Nautilus. We take 13, which means that, you know, like, we could die to Atrocity, but I got the Doom Beast. So we get there. Make sure we go up to 9 so Atrocity doesn't kill us. Because now they don't get to play other... You know, now they can't play any other um, sea monsters after that. And we should be able to just simply attack and kill them. The Shadow Liars are just the beginning! Plus, I guess they don't even get to Atrocity anyway, right? Because this is round start, it kills that beast below. Alright, GG's. Man, that was a crazy Viego game right there. Without her, there is only darkness. Man, it looks like lots of people in Master's Rank are playing Viego. Like, now that we're way up here, we're facing a lot of Viego today. And so what's better than Viego than lots of Viegos? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe we just keep one Viego. Ooh, that copy of the box could be really good if they go, like, you know, Curse Keeper shenanigans and stuff like that. They always have Reaper on one. At least... The last like four games they've had Reaper on one. So therefore always. Hmm. That's just the three three, that's probably not worth the box. So I know I could have gone Camera Camera War and Soldier on this round, but I'd rather play it on the next round, right? Like on their attack round, that's when I want to play the Soldier and have the Encroaching Mist for attacking, and plus this just had opportunity for the, the me having the box if, if they did some crazy Shadow Isles thing. I need them to play four units. Oh, 
for her, for us. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Why was I thinking I could vile feast and flock the six five and kill it? I need, I have to do that right away. Yeah, I had to vile feast and flock this thing right away. Why? Yeah, yep, 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 yep. This isn't gonna work. Well. I don't, I don't, I, uh, I was thinking, okay, so I was thinking, like, attack, have them block, then, like, maybe they spend mana like that during combat, and then during combat, then I go Vile Feast, flock, kill the, kill that before damage happens, and obviously that's just something that you can't do, you're not allowed to do that. Bakai Reaper card is pretty good. It's going places. So obviously I just messed this up. to do stuff first. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. Can I play Hydrovine right now? Hydrovine will give me fearsome blockers. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to play the box. So I'm certainly assuming they're going to be like killing the Curse Keeper, putting like a 4-2 and encroaching miss in play. By waiting on the box and playing the Vile Feast first, we get to kill the 3-2 Ravenous Butcher as well. Okay, so we have level up Swain. That has to just trade with a one mana unit. I think I just take the three. I don't think I use the Ravenous Flock. Especially with us having Withering Whale. Because the Ravenous Flock could be really important for killing another Viego. So we've killed two Viegos. All right, Viego's their only champion. We've killed two. Okay. I think I went to Hydrovine.
I don't have- I'll have 10 mana next round, so not enough to play Hydra Vine and then also play Wither Rail. But I could, I could just play Hydra Vine on- sit back on defense with a Hydra Vine. Yeah, that's the way to go. Sit back on defense with another Hydra Vine, and then whenever they attack next- Whoa. Have Withering Whale for whenever they attack next round. Like, I could attack with the 6-6s. Six All that accomplishes is they just block with, like, these things, but I mean, I guess... I mean, might as well, right? Like, there's not really any reason not to. The, the reason not to is that it, it clears up the board and allows them to play, like, other units that may not just be one health units. We shall see if Double Hydrovine can get us there. I'm really hoping they can't find Viego number three. Yeah, see, they get to play all this stuff. Because I attacked. That's the that was the bad part about attacking. There was there really wasn't much reason to attack. It's not like we're playing like Nasus that cares about the slays. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. Out pretty well. So it should should work out pretty well. Oh, ride of negation. I haven't. Yeah, I guess ride of negation kills me. Why didn't I just block? I didn't think about right. I guess. Well, I guess I have this to save from ride of negation. Was this thing? I still should just block. They want to get their own sleigh in. Okay. For the Reaper, they want that sleigh. Interesting. Yeah, I don't like. I don't know. That was weird. Because they they did that before the Withering Whale, so therefore like the one one spider that they made just dies to the Withering Whale. So now they don't have like a one one spider to block these in big encroaching mists that are coming next round. I guess if I want to play... So I want to play this next round to attack for 9. Oh. So if their plan is atrocity, this this thing, I can't stomp that. Okay, well, let's attack. Alright, cool. So I went with the stun card instead of just attacking out, so that if they allowed the stun to happen and then tried to atrocity, you know, then we would have the flock cover it. Gangplank Sejuani. Gangplank Sejuani is always good. So we'll have some Scorched Earths. It's kind of like our only way to kill the larger units, the larger uh, champions. We got some smaller stuff. We got some house spiders, withering whales for small stuff. The sunken shipyard, I think, has been some good luck for us. It's been a awesome board. This board is really cool. We have the fishies back here. The yellow are missing, so my camera's in the way. All right, so that's one out of four. They always you always open attack, right? Yeah, get get damage in while you can. So one out of five for them. I am going to be using ravenous flock on this thing because it does have just guaranteed damage. 
Guaranteed Nexus damage bad. That's pretty awesome for me. They didn't have anything else to play. That's very good. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. And obviously, what a draw with the flock. Oh. My unspeakable horror. That's a good Yordle Grifter. So for four mana, they get to do one Nexus damage to me for the champions, and also create the Unspeakable Horror, which kills my 1-1, and also create something else. Not bad. Down to seven? Keep up, keep up. Submission or death for all who leave. Yes, no mon monster harp no monster harpoon, that's good. But obviously. Sejuani is a problem. We got sentry for Sejuani ish. To, to at least, you know, have the Sejuani not kill my Viego. So they got twice as many cards in hand than I do. From the and it looks like they're gonna have they have the best possible card. They are going to have uh, leveled up. Sejuani after the spray fin hits, because I can't stop that. The winter's claw endures. Surrender to me. And this is where they frostbite. They've already used an absolute ton of warning shots. I don't know if that's like a, a metric. They've used a ton of warning shots. Show them our teeth. Yeah, Jack, we got Wednesday night. Wednesday night stream. Oh, they hit the Nexus. Wow. Alright, so two things die. I guess I could glimpse beyond. I was casting the Withering Well this round so that I get to Scorched Earth next round. But I guess I guess you know I could I could Scorched Earth next round. I don't have to Scorched Earth this round. Perfect. I'll show him pain. Can take out this powder keg. So it's not all sorts of nexus damage. Okay. Scorched Earth you, File Feast you. So this will move me to seven. So if I block here we're at nine right now. Hoping this works. Hoping this works. It's just going to nine. If they have something that heals the Sejuani, <laughs> that would be a nightmare. If they can heal it one. Hill Cascade from my unspeakable horror? Oh, why am I playing such good cards? Oh, man. Oh, no. Wow, that Yordle Grifter grabbed Unspeakable Horror, which made Pill Cascade. And now that's dead, then Double Fury of the North. Wow. What a finish. Good game, opponent. I refuse. 
Guess I had to block with the Viego. Wow, Pill Cascade. Me, but the Mega Rain still could have hit me. So yeah, Mega Rain still could have hit me even if I played the Camera Warden Soldier first. And we got Mono Shirima to finish the game out. That's cool. The, my opponent is trying to make Buried Sun Disc deck work, looks like. So I like it. Let's just go ahead and keep these. Oh, but I hope they're not too aggressive. Right, I hope they have a slow hand. We'll have Scorched Earth can kill Buried Sun Disc. We'll have Unspeakable Horror do whatever after that. That's my plan for round three. Scorched Earth first to enable the Nightfall for Unspeakable Horror. They did draw an extra card, so it looks like they do have the Sun Disc right there in their hand. All three champions are the ascended ones. So they probably doing cool sun disc stuff. Alternatively, I can wait with the scorched earths and try to kill champions with them instead of and not worry about the sun disc. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Well, it's not easy to like uh, I guess it's easy to keep Nasus and Renekton from leveling up. And Azir is pretty difficult to level up these days. Maybe we just do that. You need not follow, but you will witness. You think I should kill the Sun Disk? They can give Sun Disk spell shield. There's different cards like the two drop that will give it spell shield. I just don't really like any other option. I don't. I don't want a spirit leech. I don't really want a sentry stun right now. So instead of wasting mana, I guess we're doing it. It is sad. Opponents just trying to do a cool sun disc thing and just have removal for it. Let me hear you call our emperor's name. Jerimans, I have waited millennia to hear your cheers. Raise those banners! In Shurima's name. You want to have your units in play? Right, for for Viego to see to have Viego see them die. So getting rid of spell shield now we can stun. He's with us, right? Either way, if they have if they have a challenge, you know, if they have an exhaust or something like that, like anything that makes the Viego vulnerable, either way, they would kill Viego. And I can't stop that. So it's just kind of which one would I rather Which one would I rather have trade with Viego? And I guess I'd rather have the Ruin Runner trade with Viego. Because ov overall, the Ruin Runner is scarier than Renekton because it's always a 6 4. This has to challenge to get the bonus. See what I've learned? That's actually kind of a good idea. Hayden says Sun Disk should just start with Spell Shield. I, I like that. I like that. Sun Disk just having Spell Shield at the beginning. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Ah. Uh. 
All right, I'll, I'll get it for you. Lux says, need to win this for the predictions. They have enough points for a donation deck. All right, so we do not, I do not, like, you know, do we think, well, why don't you just attack with that to get a free, you know, just get some damage in. But they block with the Chronomancer, and they slay, and so then they get a larger Nasus because of the slay, so I don't want to give them a free slay. All right, drew another Viego, very good. I just only have, right now, I only have the Death's Hand, Scorched Earth, you know, take down, like, one of these champions. They have a lot of champions over here. A lot of different champs. Playing on Scorched Earth, the Nasus afterwards. Yeah, I like that. I like what Sundisk just starting with Spell Shield. I think that that could be pretty nice. All right, so Nasus levels up and has Spell Shield. Speaking of Spell Shield, can't stop that either. So it looks like they have three Azir's, two Nasus, one Renekton. That would be my guess. I don't want Siphoning Strike killing Viego. So really hope they don't have the second Nasus. Looks like that's what they're looking for. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. That's what like this order has always been, but it could be two 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 also. It could be two two you know, it could be two Azir, two Nasus, two Renekton, that could be it also. But they they always list it if you have three, two, one, they always list it in this order of like this is the third, this is the second this is three, then two, then one. But I guess they could just have two of each. Uh, do I have Viego attack? Viego's bigger than Nasus. Like, if they have Shapestone, is that a trade I want to make? I don't know. Great draw. So right now I can block with Spirit Leech, and then... Now I can have this to block with something else. The encroaching mist blocks Ruin Runner. We love it when they run. Tell the people what you have seen today. Still have a good amount of fearsome blockers. Yes, Eclipse Dragon's always awesome. Shapestone, that thing. That's how it goes. All right, the question is, is it possible to keep the Vault Rewards till next week and still progress the new one? No. No, I don't No, I don't think that's possible. Unfortunately, it is possible with, like, the, the region road rewards. It is possible to wait on those until another one, and, you know, you don't have to open those up immediately, but I don't believe it's... Things at nine nine now. 
Um, don't think the other thing's possible. Oh, why did I just block with this encroaching mist? They don't get that slay. That's my bad. Yeah, that's my bad. Vision to see what others cannot. Yeah, that should be an 8 8, not a 9 9. Hey, then an 8-8 dies to two Ravenous blocks. How about that? How about that? This will give three health to uh, that thing. Okay, never mind. Seven health. But again, got a quick sand out of their hands. We don't want ride negation. I don't want to play like a ton of ravenous flocks and then have ride negation. Um, you know, get get them all. damage in there. Viego! Yeah. We had just too much card advantage. The double spirit leeches were awesome. Especially, like, you know, with the Viego getting the encroaching miss and everything. And then, obviously, destroying the Sun Disc, right? Like, if we don't destroy that Sun Disc... They leveled up two champions, like they would have had Emperor's deck. Yeah, destroying that Sun Disc ended up being very important. So there we go, a 3-2 with Viego Swain. Losing a Viego Mirror, but we also won a Viego Mirror. So 1-1 in Viego Mirrors, 2-1 in, in other games. Lost a real close one to Gangplank Sejuani that I think that I think that normally we're going to do really well against Gangplank Sejuani. There was uh, you know, a lot of stuff that had to go wrong for us there. They had all sorts of warning shots and then... Uh, yeah, all those pump spells at the end. The pale, ca you know, whenever they have pale cascade, <laughs> that that's when you know you, you don't have the luck. So that there we go. Those were our losses, but I think that it felt very strong. Did this feel like the best Swain deck? No, not necessarily. But this was a good Viego deck that um, you know had good early removal and stuff. Right, having like House Spider, um, House Spider in particular with Viego is awesome. But you know, House Spider, Ar Arachnoid Sentry, Ravenous Flock, like especially just having like those things with your Viego. Really, really good. Scorched Earth and Death's Hand played a good part as well. So yeah, just having like that kind of stuff to, you know, help slow the opponent down, right? Because those three cards in particular, Sentry, Flock, Spider, those, House Spider, those three really slow down opponents quite a bit. And so I think that those cards were awesome with Viego. Now the other, the first two decks that we played today ended up being much better Swain decks. This one was more of a Viego deck. But I think it worked out really well. I think this was a good showing for a Viego deck. All right, so that was our, our first try, Swain Viego, and I think, uh, I think I'd have to say success. All right, and just Swain Knight overall, definitely a success. What's that record? That's uh, 11 and 4 on the night, and one game I accidentally kind of threw away. I could have easily won that, that uh, one game against Action Siver with Sejuani Swain. So if we won that one which all I had to do was just cast the Scorched Earth in my hand, and then we were like 95% to win. If we win that, then we're looking at 12 and 3, 75% win rate with Swain in Master's Rank, at the top of Master's Rank. Where did we end up the day on the leaderboard? Yeah, like way up here at the top of Master's Rank with just Swain. So Swain's looking good. So if you like playing Swain, A, you're smart, because Swain's awesome, <laughs> but B, Maybe try out one of these three decks, you know, if you whatever flavor of Swain you want. Um, and we talked about it at the very beginning that Swain is a champion that you could really pair with every single region. You can make a pretty cool Swain deck. Um, but these are the three we went with today. Uh, but yeah, there we go. All right, but that's going to be it here for Viego Swain. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.